What are you doing? I'm just sealing Jason's collar and airtight bag so it retains his scent. I don't know how many whiffs I have left. Wow. Look, I know that dog meant a lot to you, so I got you this. It's a dog. His name's Arlo, but you can call him Jason too, or whatever. Seriously? I can't just replace Jason with some other dog. Why not? All dogs are basically the same. Watch this. Arlo, go hump that toy. Get away from that. That's Jason's. Look, man. I've been patient, but we have a case we need to work on. It's time for you to get over it and move on. Move on? Move on. Jason was part of my family, Rosa. I loved him. His humping was the only thing that got me through my divorce. Seeing him so happy made me believe that I could be happy one day, too. You wouldn't understand this because you have a motorcycle helmet for a heart, but I need to feel this sadness. So the only thing that I'm moving on from is you. So I, like, have a dog now? <sighs> Briefing room, now. I really don't feel like having you yell at me anymore. What is this? It's a funeral for Jason. I'm gonna say a few words. When Jason died seven days ago, I didn't give a rat's ass. This is your speech? Because I didn't understand why people care so much about their dumb dogs until I got a dumb dog myself. I've only had Arlo for a day and a half, but if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Very violent eulogy, I like it. Charles. I'm sorry. You don't have to get over it. Take as long as you want. Scully, it's time. Ave Maria.